Well, my lab um, focuses on two things, sort of community ecology and marine systems primarily. And so that's trying to figure out how communities work and are, are structured, how they function, what are the critical components and what are the less critical ones and the connections between those. The other thing we do is called chemical ecology and it really relates to the former. We're trying to understand um, how organisms use chemistry to um, signal each other, to perceive their environment. And it turns out that most organisms on Earth really decide whether to um, eat the thing next to them, mate with it, or run from it based on chemical signals, not visual ones. And so it's sort of the blueprint of how things behave in nature. And we're trying to decipher that blueprint and understand it. And one of the real recent findings is that um, herbivory is important. Herbivorous fish remove the seaweeds and keep them from um, suppressing the corals. And now we know uh, that it's particular species and you need those species present, but you also need mixes of those species because these chemicals that the seaweeds make deter some fish but not all fish. And if we don't have the right mix of species there, then the seaweeds are not, some of the seaweeds are not controlled and they damage the corals. And so you hear about loss of biodiversity and that that's a problem. Most people think, well, there's thousands of species, so we lose one, so what? In these cases, certain species matter tremendously. And it's not just that, but certain mixes matter. And so we can go around to reefs in Fiji and look at the diversity of herbivorous fishes and predict the algal cover that will be there and how that's affecting the corals. So that becomes really important for fishing. Okay, and we can go to the, the chiefs in the villages and explain this to them and say, here are, you've got lots of species you could fish for. Here are four that are really critical. You do eat those, you do like those, but if you give those up, your, your reefs will work better and there'll be more fish long term and it'll be more sustainable. And they buy into that in ways that Americans wouldn't because Americans get their fish out of the frozen food market. These guys get it out of nature and they understand that and are really worried about sort of the um, the grocery store staying open, but their grocery store is the reef.